Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. This is going to be part one where we'll do our embark our embark episode. We'll pick um, things for our guys to bring. Well, this is the Cheesemaker Fort. Yes, I did promise that at the end of the last Let's Play that we're going to make a Cheesemaker Fort. It's going to be a smaller fort, you know, not so much military based, but as you can see here, our embark location, this is Relic Mastered, our previous Let's Play. We are just a few tiles away. Supposedly we wiped out, I think, this one, this elven uh, territory, and it might have been one of these other ones also. I can't remember, but let's take a quick look here at the modes. I just want to make sure. So here's the problem here. We didn't, uh, I didn't, what one were we last time? I don't remember which one we were. I thought we were the scholarly urns. Yeah, we are, because you can see here it's showing us down here. So I'm going to pick the Scholarly Urns once more for my Dwarven Civilization. So we're obviously we're making an incursion down here in the Elven Territory, because there's a bunch of territories here. I don't really know. I'm assuming this is probably either Haunted or Goblins or something. I don't really know. At any rate, this, is, uh, this fort is all cheesemakers, and we're going to make our money from cheesemaking, and it's going to be a surface fort, essentially. We're going to dig underground a little bit just to get the stone to make the walls and the homes because we're still going to do that. So let's get to let's get to the embark. We're going to prepare carefully for the journey. And everyone in our group, they'll have like um, one or two. Let's see. Well, we'll do, we'll do two. And the things I'd normally pick, but we're also going to put cheese making our maker on just about everybody. So normally I do two miners, so the rest is going to go into proficient cheese making. Because why wouldn't you? All right, this guy here. Wait, 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 wait. Skilled? No, we want, we want proficient. And then one more miner. All right, so this guy here will be our woodcutter carpenter. We'll do those at novice level, and then put the rest in cheese making. I probably should put him stuff in the milking, but uh, that's okay. Actually, let's put one in the milking. How's that? You're a novice milker. Uh, you. Yeah, you. You're going to be our mason, building designer, stone crafter, but you're also going to be, you guessed it, proficient cheesemaker. And uh, what about you? I know you want to be a cheesemaker also. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So, I'll give you the basics of farming for you. What about you? We want a mechanic. Make you adequate. Skilled skilled cheesemaker. And we'll be an adequate milker. Because we all love adequate milkers. That's where you go. Last guy. What do I usually do? I usually do like an appraiser. So this guy is going to be the appraiser for, an expert appraiser for, we're still going to have you give, let's, let's just do adequate milker and cheesemaker, but I always put someone with appraisal skills and stuff for my last guy. So we want our maximum amount of, uh, of money that we can make per negotiation. That's, I can't put more in negotiation. All right. Uh, well, fine. Be that way. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to items. All right, we'll go with the typical stuff. We're not going to worry too much about stuff. Like we'll just get rid of the anvil. All right, so we'll, we'll get rid of that. We're gonna probably. I never do dimple cup to rock uh, rock nuts, so let's just do. Let's Eleven seeds of each of one of the uh, these these here. Give ourselves a crap load of food. As long as it's two, that's all that matters. Worth two. There you go. Get a ton of booze. Do beer this time. Goes better with cheese. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Thread. One down. One down. Bags. One down. Just two bags. Get rid of the quivers entirely. I don't even know why they give you this stuff by default. This stuff's a lot of rubbish. All right, so what we got here? Now we're uh, let's see. I'm not gonna do dogs at all this time. We're gonna we're still gonna have cats, so we'll do one of each sex. 
So what do we want here? We want cows. So we'll do, let's see. Oh, wow, they're expensive. Holy crap. I gonna do one cow and one bull? Yeah, that's all my points, and they just a cow, one cow, and one bull. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. We literally don't even have enough for anywhere near a second cow. Uh, this really sucks. I didn't expect... Wow. All right, well, I expected maybe to have, like, maybe two or three cows to start off with, but... There's probably cheaper milk animals, but I just... I, I think I'd just, I'm going to stick with cows. All right, name the fort. I don't even know if you can do this, but can we name it cheese something? I'll probably edit a lot of this out, but I'm going to try and see if we put cheese in. Because we'll just call it something like cheese something or other, right? I don't see cheese here. Well, it should be right here. We can't call ourselves cheese something? Damn. Why? You got, like, the name of everything possible. Dearth Town. That sounds pretty good. Two axes, trade worlds. We'll call it trade worlds. How's that? But uh, that's not what the Let's Play is going to be named. It's going to be called Cheese Maker or something along those lines. Group name. Can we actually name ourselves some sort of uh, cheese related thingy or something here? Apparently they just don't want cheese in your name. It's a conspiracy. I think that they should probably write the developers of the game and maybe get this thing cleared up. No, apparently cheese is not a word in Dwarven language here. Okay. What about the? The cheese of something. Come on. The Ivory Helms. There you go. I guess that's what we are. I don't know. And we'll shall now embark. Bam. Are you sure you want to... Oh, well, I guess I could waste those last 12 on something here, huh? Probably would be the thing to do. Uh, Let's... A couple more seeds of each type, maybe. Five. Mm. All right, one. There you go. Now we embark, right? All right. You have arrived after a, after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness. Beyond your harsh trek has finally ended your party of seven. Blah 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 and blah blah blah. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Trade worlds. The cougar men. Cougar men here. Okay. That should be interesting. All right. Well, let's go. Let's embark. How come it doesn't pause on embark like it's supposed to? I don't know why. All right. Let's bring it up. What do we got here? Dingoes. And an alligator snapping turtle. Great. Oh, did I mention this is a two by two embark? Yeah, just like our last one. Very small embark. And unfortunately, it's a hill. I didn't really pay much attention to that. That's not really what I wanted, but uh, I guess we're going to have to do... We need fields, large fields for our cows, and this is not uh, what I wanted. <laughs> Great. That's lovely. Ah, uh, well, it never ends, does it? Well, we do get a couple animals with our, with our bark here, so... Well, will the eggs need to have to get destroyed? We'll chop down all these trees just because we can, and we're scumbags. And we live right next to the elves. Oh, that's a river. We don't want people doing one on the other side of that river, do we? You know what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably going to float over the entire river at some point. Because if we get alligator snapping turtles and things of that nature, I just don't want to deal with that. Um. All right, so the trees on this side are going to be doesn't need to be cut. We got to start building outdoor type things, and we're not going to be digging underground too much, other than just to get stone for the sake of getting stone. So, well, like right now, like our dudes really ain't got nothing to, nothing to do anyway. So, all right, we'll start cutting trees on this level. I'm a little bit worried about these dingles coming in and attacking our animals. All right, so we're going to pen pasture these things. Probably should have brought some other stuff, so... Like some egg-laying things, but we just didn't have the points for it. All that cheese-making skill had to go, you know, had to do something with it. I think what we're going to do is, like, right smack dab in the center, which is probably near where the wagon is. But maybe we'll move it down a little bit. We're going to have, like, kind of like our main town hall. And what we're going to do is we're going to dig down 
and we're going to store stuff storage facility and a, a refuge essentially where we can all go sort of as a just in case something bad happens kind of thing so we'll have a nice big storage thing there so on pause we'll let it go baby let's see what's going on cheesemakers galore look at that that that's the cheesemaker icon let's zoom in one more there you go i suppose we could make a very quick temporary bunch of houses and stuff out of wood Wood will be plentiful here, should be. Our civilization should be at war with the same elf civilization from last time. Unfortunately, it's not mentioning... Huh, where are the other elves? They're not even mentioned. Yeah, I don't know. I thought that was like a way to show if we were at war with them still. We should technically be at war because we picked a fight with them with at, in the previous Let's Play in Relic Masters. So we should technically be at war with these elves that are very nearby us. All right, so let's go down. Oh, I'm still digging it out. Go ahead, guys. We did they already tap into uh, fungus is growing here already. Are we tapped into the cavern system somehow? I think that's open space there. Some of these tree the uh, tree things uh, their roots expose things. So what are you doing? Our guys aren't really doing much of nothing. <laughs> kind of just wanted to get all this wood wood finished. It looks like we got that done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of small stockpiles here. We're going to do wood. Um, food will be probably the largest of them. We do have a lot of food. Animals don't so much matter. Furniture. Finished goods, weapons, just because I just want to get them. I don't want them laying around the surface. Uh, armor, I don't know if that would, yeah, it's just your armor. What else? Cloth H, and then we got a little bit of cloth. Probably some leather? Don't know. We'll make one for leather. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should be good there. All right, so the question is, before we go any further, is how these guys... Where is this alligator snapping turtle first off? He's way up here. I don't think these are guys that you're going to want to mess with too much. Just stay away from him, Mr. Kitty. Okay. Blessed are the cheesemakers, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, we are back. It is spring. Spring just sprung. There you go. Early spring of 162. I don't remember where we ended it. I'm assuming we probably just ended Relic Mastered in 161 in the winter. I'm just assuming that. I don't really remember. But at any rate, um, I, I forgot. I failed to mention I'm still using version 44.09. I did not upgrade to, to, to 10. And I know there were some fixes in 10 for some problems that were with the... Uh, with those mission systems that we were experimenting with with the relic master so i'm going to unpause here let this go for a minute i have i kind of half thought of doing it but you know what i just they said well i'm not really sure i give a crap that much about uh you know importing and importing the this world into version 10 right now but what we're going to do we're just going to get the carpenter shop up start making a few things let's move them over here uh, the mason shop. Yeah, for right now, we're just going to temporarily put them on the surface. Yeah, as you can see there, see how we have some blue? That's, um, yeah, we're going to have to cover those up. So what I have to start figuring out here is what I'm going to do. Like, how am I going to prioritize what I need first? Because this is going to be a bit of a different, uh, Let's play it. I'm used to. I think what I want to do is I need stone now, but I prefer building things out of stone, like the surface buildings that we're going to build. And yeah, each person's going to have their own home. Well, at least I wanted to, but this bark is so small. I did limit us to 75 in our last Let's Play. I think I limited us to 100. I think we'll still get invaders that way, though. But I, I could be wrong. So let's do a downward stairway... 
and then um, some up downstairs maybe three levels and we'll just see what we have here see how this is a problem too with your frame rate stuff this thing will cause problems so no we can I complained a lot in the last let's play about frame rate issues that's probably what will end up killing this for eventually too uh, but we're on a very small embark here I don't remember it being quite maybe maybe I went three by three in the last one this one's two by two though so yeah I'm a little bit worried about that that's we're not gonna have much reaction time if invaders come onto the screen here so all right so miners where have you gone here looks like that's all stone all right now that's all dirt down to this level okay so let's just mine no let's just let's just do it it's easier I don't even care. Nothing is gonna look right underground. I don't doesn't even have to look nice. I'm just gonna do it. I think I do have cave ins on, so I'll leave a couple pillars around. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know how that works. If you make big, huge open spaces, I'm gonna have to probably do some underground farms too here, aren't I? So let's go in few. I should we just do it like that. So everything else should be on the surface. Mostly. I'm just a little worried about these idiots wandering around. I should probably make a meeting area over this over this area here, huh? How about just like in here? We'll make a meeting area. This is a temporary meeting area, mind you. So a lot of things got to get done. We need more cows. We're going to be trading for cows right off the bat. That'll be the big thing. Which reminds me, we're probably going to need something to trade with. I sort of want to have a self, like a, my own kind of uh, self-imposed rule about not trading anything but the uh, cheese. But I don't really think we're going to be able to make money off of non-cheese. <laughs> I mean, cheese-related stuff right off the bat here, because we literally have nothing set up here. I know we do still have three seasons to go through before the traders come, but a human trader might come in, so... No, we're, we might make some of those uh, spiked wooden balls again. Because I know that's a little exploity, but uh, I just want to get us get us going here. Alright, you don't have to do... I am going to have to pause it here, because it looks like some of our guys are not doing their jobs like they're supposed to. Right, just before we do that. Okay, spiked wooden balls. Just make one whole line of them. Good out of help out. Alright, there you go. And yeah, the miners are doing their job. We got some stone now. So let's see here. Let's get uh, some three thrones. I don't know what else they cut me. I don't know what else they... Uh, canceled but yeah i'm gonna pause here real quickly and check for therapist be right back okay so that's all set to set up uh the mason to actually do just masonry work and of course i left cheese making and milking on everyone that'll be a thing probably so unfortunately they got a very large area to dig out here but we just need stone pretty badly i should actually move this this mason shop down here probably huh Shop uh, Mason. Doesn't even matter where it is exactly, but that's fine. It's Obsidian again. Remember in the last one we had Obsidian. Yeah, someone is uh, weed whacking right outside my window. So if uh, you hear a noise, that is why. Yeah, once he finishes that, I'll deconstruct that. Let's also make a mechanic shop down here just for the heck of it. Whatever stone's available, should be, we'll probably should probably do. Nah, that's that's good. Whatever that is. I kind of want to make like a main town hall right over this spot where the main kind of uh, town storage is going to be. So initially, we're just going to have one building where everyone lives in, because obviously surface construction does take quite a while. I suppose if we really had to, we could. Uh, we could just build everything out of wood, like I said, but eh, I, I sort of don't want to. But, you know, if some sudden creature pops on the screen, then 
Yeah, I'm going to regret it. I think we're going to set it up the pastures right now. Let's get people doing something here with the wood that's available. All right. I just want this. This is just the trade. I'm probably not going to make any more other than this just for our initial trade session. I don't even, I doubt they're even going to have cows in the initial trade session. So the, the milk making ain't going to really kick in probably until the second trade session, I imagine. Because we'll have to request cows and bulls and stuff. And pretty soon, like, everyone have their own house, their own family home. I think we will bury people underground, though. I mean, it just seems like a dwarfy kind of thing to do. He has become a miner. That, that's not good. I don't really want that for this. For oh, crap. A magma pool. I actually didn't really didn't want to become exposed to the cavern system at all. Fortunately, that looks like a thing because that's yeah. All right, that. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't actually want that. But now maybe it's a good thing that we know where it is, and I think inevitably it would have. We would have had to have gone go there. All right, we're gonna have to do this because animals and creatures and things can move in on a diagonal, and that should eliminate all the pathing problems we're gonna have from there. I would hope. Don't think someone can go over there and do that quickly. So whatever bad things are in there, there you go. So we are safe from the cavern systems, I think. As we tap into something over here that we didn't see. Quickly, looks like elk birds are in there. We have just a barn owl on the outside. Looks like those dingoes and the dangerous alligator snapping turtle are gone. Everything is alive currently, so we're, we're doing pretty good. All right. So it doesn't have the long, arduous wait for these guys to get everything done. Ah, uh, what else should we do? We I want blocks on repeat, so we start making stuff outside. So Mr. Mason will be doing that. Hopefully soon-ish. All right, we need to get uh, beds going and to get those tables and chairs set up. Okay. those chairs and tables set up on a little makeshift oh let's see now that's right over one of those spots B no nope. construction wall so we have to cover those up do we have any yes we do we have blocks all right got one block there no way we don't want a wall we want a floor don't we yeah that's that's wrong and where's that other one? This spot here. Get the obsidian blocks on there. There you go. Those will be covered up soon. Petitions already? No. I'll be denying all petitions. I did set it up so that only five visitors come in. I may allow some visitors at some later point in time. But not the erratic any monster ones for certain. Right, where are you at? You're on the end of that. So we need to get some beds going. Yeah, I mean, this is not really... I might do one of these micro forts, like I said at the end of Relic Masters about. I might do one that's like more of like a temple, one that or one that's a library, one that's got... The, I want to do like a bunch of the, like a, a specific um, purpose, you know what I mean? So, for this one, we're not really going to do like... Uh, do some bunch of bins there. We're not going to do anything that like has to do with visitors, like in it or anything like that. Although we could invite them in to eat our glorious, world-renowned cheese at some point. So, so how far are you guys along? No, you're not. You're still, still a little way. Oh, uh, more visitors. Okay. Uh, let's make a bunch of mechanisms just to have them. Rock box on repeat. What else are we gonna need here? Just uh, I don't remember if we made doors. We'll make some doors. Great. Nah, probably don't need a great right now. I don't know why they're visiting. Well, we really got nothing to offer them. I mean, all they're gonna do is eat our food. I mean, I limited it to five, so I don't think they'll eat too much food. But like, there he is. Look, that's the guy right there. Like, what are you doing? You just you don't serve any purpose here, man. You're just here for the annoyance of it. Even last your giant earthworm, which is probably below ground. All right. Okay, let's set up these beds down here. All right. 
Starting to look like a home. Not really. <laughs> Build that hatch cover over the top of this so it's at least in place. All right, let's set this up as a dormitory. Dormitory D, yes. Thank you very much. We got that going. So we have at least a three spots for people to sleep on. Now our guy that's supposed to be doing stuff down here isn't doing it. So I want to make those um, the farms right now. I forget what the hell it is, is it? Yeah, P, alright. So we'll make one here. And hopefully we'll get to that soon ish. And while he's doing that, make a food stockpile right next to it. But it's gonna be limited to let's see, block all, but Permit seeds. I always do that. I just think I don't know why. And for this one, we'll just remove the seeds from it. Forbid. There you go. So an area to sleep, area to eat. We really gotta get the cheese making going, man. I don't know what's going on, boys. Yo. Then need barrels. Oh, another thing you need. Oh, get rid of that. No, we're gonna need buckets. I think you need the buckets for milking them anyway, right? I don't know, unless they put them in barrels. I think they put them in barrels, but either way. Petition? No, you are denied, sir. You are denied. How far along are we? Boy, this is going to take these guys forever. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's build a workshop. Let's actually just... Ma at least I know one of our guys is enabled to make a craft dwarf shop, so let's make it just to have it in case there's some kind of fame mood. Back to the surface here. Yeah, we're gonna get that farmer's workshop up so we can start milking things here soon too, because we got no way to really make food yet until these farms get up. Alright, well I guess it looks like the guy might be A B C D. Pump helmets. Alright, we're gonna make another one. It looks like they finished that. Oops, B and P. All right, let's do another plot here and make a door here. And pause. We're going to make another one also. I kind of want... Uh, why didn't they dig this part out? This spot here hasn't been dug out yet. Fortunately, I don't think he's going to build this until he plants all the seeds. So You don't really need a lot. You know, I notice even like on large forts, you really don't need very big farms. And they'll sustain you. And see, the problem is I have all this problem with all my forts of, like, actually overproducing on food and drink, particularly on the drink. So, I guess it up outdoor refuse stockpile. It looks like we're getting a lot of, like, dead animal bones in our food storage here. So, hopefully they'll remove that. Alright, I start flooring over a couple of these areas. Just because I just don't like the look of them. City and blocks. Oh, we need a bar block stockpile pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon, I think. Uh, mm. We'll just do... I'm not going to overburden them with some of these outdoor jobs. Though. These are not very necessary right now, but I just don't like the fact that we got all these little spots here where they got water in them. Might reclaim those. Is there a way to make, like... Like, on these surfaces of these things I build, make, like, grazable, like, a grazable area over it somehow. Like, if I, do, like, tell them to fill, like, to pour the water out on here, like, uh, what is it, the, um, let's just pretend I'm setting a zone up or something. Like, if I do that pit pond thing and I have them, like, pour water on it to fill it over these tiles I'm building, will grass eventually grow on there or will it just be like the moss stuff from the caves or will nothing grow on it ever could be cool if we if i could like reclaim it for grazing land we could because we're dwarfs eventually have um have all of our animals below ground but i i'm gonna do it more like a traditional human farm on the surface kind of a thing 
That's the cheese makers. Yeah, so there's we're gonna be it's kind of gonna be an undwarfy fort, but it's still it's cheese making. It's a dwarfy thing. So yes, it's very dwarfy. I think each house, each of the houses that we make here will also have a basement level to them, and all the basement levels will be connected. So that'll be a thing right now. We're very exposed. So if some animal came in or a were creature, we're screwed. I mean, we're royally screwed right now. If something comes in. I think they were they like a were creature would be a building destroyer. So I think they would just break that hatch and go right into our fort, and they'd kill all our animals. So we'd be really struggling to recover from something like that. I suppose temporarily we could put like uh, let's see, kitchen, fishery, uh, some of the well, yeah, the kitchen, kitchen still. So we're gonna make some booze. So I guess I could put the farmer's workshop in here. No, not. I don't. I don't think we'll go on the surface for the farmer workshop. Where's the hatch? I'm trying to find it. I'm already lost it. I don't know where the hell. Where the hell did I go? <laughs> oh, it's like covered up or something here. All right, we're gonna. This will be our first farmer's workshop. Yes, the first of many <laughs> for milking and drinking and all that. Awesome. Now you, sir. You will milk animals on repeat. I don't think we can shear these guys. Huh, I don't know. We'll just do that for now. A lot of our guys are set up to milk. We got a lot of... Uh... Oh, and I guess that camel can be milked too. That's pretty good. Alright, we milked all the animals we could. Looks like we only had two that we could milk. Can we shear any of them? Might as well, just to have it done, just to do it for the heck of doing it. Alright, so it looks like he finished those two other farms, right? Now this one here is going to be... Let's get, let's get sweet pods on two. And, uh, um, Alright, well, we're not going to do plump pelmets at all. And this one here will be... A will do... B will be... Cave weight. Huh. All right. Well, hopefully that's enough. I don't know. I probably should go into Dwarf Therapist real quickly and set up this farmer to do just farming, because uh, well, he's farmer and he's a still and the and the cook. So I want him just to concentrate on this stuff and not do any hauling. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here. In fact, actually, I should probably end this episode. We're probably going a little long. Let's get rid of this guy. He's eradicating monsters. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually shoot these two first two episodes right in a row. So if you left the comment in the first episode, I won't know about it. But uh, yeah, all right. I'll I'll see you guys next time. Adios, folks.